after my last mega sold, I have realized that I have to improve. I gotta stop leaving my Kiwis in my computer. And I think this disorganization is partly to blame. I'm, I'm not saying that it's the fault of the monster. I'm saying it's the fault of the non-existent mini monster, TM. Ooh, a sword in the special slot. I shall purchase that. That's a rare plus. Maybe it will turn into Omega. It's... It's just rare. <laughs> it's just rare. Mine is... I actually have a really good sword. This one can go in the machine. Goodbye. How am I doing here? Oh. Oh, wow. I have... I have a lot of these faceted focuses. They are great for re-rolling gear. And the good thing with these is that they they don't have individual scaling. So they will be good throughout the entire playthrough. So hoarding it is. And the vault scrap, well, the vault scrap can be used to craft new stuff, which we may get into uh, soon. But do you know what I like to do when I when I log into my world? I like to run a morning vault and potatoes, you say? I have a lot of potatoes. I don't have any chicken, though, but <laughs> that can be organized. Friends, hello there, sir. Here's some seeds for you. That's that's 93 chickens. Okay, and then I have looting on this. So sorry, sir. <laughs> sorry. I, I'm not laughing at, at at yeah, I'm laughing at you. <laughs> Netherrack and iron. Perfect. Ever since I ran the last vault, I have wanted to redeem myself because it was such a good vault, possibly the best vault I've done in this in this world. But the fact that I didn't complete it was a little bit annoying, and I also have this legend, no, not legendary, but rare bounty, collecting five red scrolls to get all of this stuff. So I really want to try and get this done. Ooh, that's an echo gem for 129 chromatic iron. I do have that amount, and I guess, I guess I can start smelting this stuff. I somehow feel like this is going to come back and bite me, but it's one echo gem for some chromatic iron. I would be a fool. I would be a fool to not accept it. Here you go. Give me my... Th wait. Wait, did you scam? <laughs> it's one more. <laughs> As I was gonna say, I would be a fool to not uh, claim this one. Nice. And then this one I can re-roll. I can remember that I have um, Bounty Hunter so that I can have two. Kill tank mobs. Oh, another black chromatic steel. Another rare one. Or oh, this is a rare one. This is not. Right, so I got two bounties and I got this one with an echo gem. And as I say, I I've been wanting to redeem myself for that last run. So I'm going to start off hot. Create a seal of the hunter, level myself up slightly and combine it with my crystal. Oh, actually, should I buy this mob box? I think that's a pretty fair price. Hmm, I mean, granted, depending on what I get here. That's, oh, that's a storage disk. It's the smallest storage disk available, but nonetheless, it's a storage disk, which tells me that I should probably... Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> it tells me that I should probably extend my computer to a support storage disk very, very soon. I've got a lot of things to do, but first things first, as I say, redeem myself for that last vault run. Make sure I don't forget Sir Pouch. Or anything, really. My kiwis are with me. Maybe I should even start running around with some lemons. Hmm. And it's time. Let's redeem myself. Ooh, I do like this theme. Six pottery shards and one goblet. And not to speak about the cursed. The the horrific drowned hide of doom. Yeah, this might be a little bit tricky. Let's go. Hello there, pumpkin. <laughs> this theme is absolutely beautiful. And there's some living chests. You know what? If I could get lucky with Drowned Hide, I feel more sa I feel safer about the other things. Uh, hello, mushroom, mush, mush guys. No, not mushroom for you up there, is it? <laughs> oh no! I forgot my chest breaker! You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> no! And that's a creeper eye. Oh, I guess I'm looting. I guess I'm looting the special chest the old, old way or not at all because they're just poisoned. Uh, yeah, okay. You guys just jumped on. There's another living chest there, though. This is just unreal. No drying hard in those. 
honestly, it doesn't it doesn't take uh, away from the fact that I, this is still doable, but it is annoying. It is annoying that I forgot something so essential. Once again, hello friends, don't die on me. I don't want more poison. I think the six pottery shards is going to be extremely difficult, but I'm going to give it my everything. Oh, oh, that's a tank mob. I need tank mobs for my quest. Ouch. What? Oh, I did not see the button. There's, there's, there's something else. There's an alligator in the water or something. Get out. What's going on? Yeah, you die. What happened? There, there it is. The infamous snapping turtle of doom. Oh, I thought I was dead. I did not see it. Disguised in the water. That was terrifying. Anyway, as I was going to say, it was good with one, one tank there at least. No, a zombie arm. I need... I need drowned hide! Come on! Oh, there are more of these. Yeah, the snapping turtles are really difficult. Their attack reach is incredible. And they're a little bit tricky to hit. You are friendly, though. And I got a pottery shard. Oh, what is this? This is an X mark. And if I remember correctly in this series, you guys will probably be able to tell me better. But I have not been very successful with these. I think I've had, like, one good and the rest of them have been bad. Also... I don't have a single grenade. Oh, it's a trap. Yep, classic for these to be trapped in this series. It feels very cursed. <laughs> very, very cursed. Close that off and move on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's another one! It's a back-to-back -back X mark! They are 50% chance, so theoretically, I, I, I have the odds on my side here. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! We'll take that, even if I have to loot all of these chests manually, the old school way. It is funny though, I don't need a single ornate thing, but I could find a trinket, I could find some gear. It's always exciting with ornate. can't believe, I can't believe I forgot to bring my chest breaker. <laughs> That's so silly. Ah, oh, ooh, a fundamental focus. And a helmet, and boots that were blue. Oh, a chest scroll, an ornate chest scroll. They are rare. I think this is the last one. Did not get a trinket, but I did get a healthy amount of gear. Yep, I'll take it. Back to back X mark rooms. What are you? Speed one, I will take that. Oh, and here are gilded chests and a tank. Sir, I need you for my bounty. I need five more of your friends, actually. Not these friends, though. They are very cute. <laughs> Please give me a goblet. No, nope, nope. That's one. Nope. Hello, what are we protecting in here then? Oh, oh, oh. It's an epic, epic wooden one. I need pottery shards. I got one. Rip pages, double traps. <laughs> so much poison in here. Foul smell. Ooh, a champion dweller. Hello there, sir. Yeah. Oh, a sword. This theme is very, very nice looking. I am a big fan. It's very colorful. That's another pottery shard. Brilliant. I think I have three. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, dangerous. Dangerous alligator turtles again. Is this gilded chests? Yep. That's another red scroll. Uh, yes, that's a goblet. Oh my. Okay, one of the hard things uh, done. That's another pottery shard. Nice. And another tank. Thank you, sir. That's another one. Wow, that's five pottery shards. I'm actually nearly there. I need one more pottery shard, please game, please be nice, ouch, I'm also not having any luck on finding living chests, I have found a healthy amount of ornate and gilded though, <laughs> the vault, the vault just knows, we know this already, it should come as no surprise, oh, there's the red scroll I needed for the bounty, the last one, nice, so that's at least completed, then I need three more tank mobs, five minutes remaining, I need one pottery shard and both of my drowned hide, this is definitely do there's some living come on come on come on get lucky hello friends no yes that's one okay that's one so one more pottery one more pottery shard and one more drowned hide it's another spider webby spool i must have so many of those that's the rarest item i have 10 i have 10 spider webbing spools the game knows it absolutely knows oh oh come on come on come on come on uh nope Nothing there, and no, come on. Yes, that's a drought hide. Okay, it's not going to be down to the curse. That's good news. 
So one little silly pottery shards. And granted, I have 10 spider webbing, 37 ripped pages, and 19 books. There's nothing wrong with my amount of looted wooden chests. I just need the, the Lady Fortune to hit my way. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this opportunity to hand in uh, what I have. Five of these, two of these, and I did have the goblet as well. Yep. This is so close. This is so very close, but this is an ore room, so keep going. Come on. Yes! Yes, I got it! Oh, thank goodness. This was, in my opinion, a quite difficult scav. And, well, I haven't done it yet, okay? I know of a guy who, uh, who had it all done and then celebrated early and then couldn't find the, the altar. So, sure, I haven't done it yet, but this is looking very good. I would love... If I could get some more of these boys too, before I go. That is... I need two more. I do hear some mobs underneath me. Oh, is there an epic PY here? 158 remaining. Uh, I think that the... Oh, this is an ornate one. I think the scab altar in the previous rooms was upstairs. But I said that last time. Oh no, then I said downstairs. I'm pretty sure it was upstairs. And one has to greed for ornate. I've got a lot of traps, it feels like it, in this vault as well. I don't know if there's something to that, or if it just feels like it. Alright, so the room I was in was this room over here. And, as I say, I'm pretty sure it was upstairs. Yes! Oh, brilliant. Okay, do I do I greet some ores, maybe? Maybe I can get some tanks to spawn in here? You are not tanks, and you are not tank either. Okay, I guess I don't complete my rare bounty in one vault. Because the timer is running out, and I would like to... Mind these ores. This time it's Kiwi Greed and Complete, not Kiwi Greed and Run. <laughs> are actually two more PRs here, two more chances for tanks. That's one of those chances gone, as my max health is going down with my Kiwis. Oh, there, this is not tanks, but there is an Escaliamore in here. I do want that Escaliamore. Kiwi, Kiwi again. Get the thing out, the pottery shard. Brilliant. That's a completed vault. Turn the magnet off, I can dump all of these things. Don't want to bring them home with me to mess up the monster. And jump down here and mine as much as I can. <laughs> Maximizing! Nice! That is, in my opinion, an absolute comeback vault. 244 chests! Yeah, it did feel like I looted a lot. I'm proud of that one. 45 ornates. <laughs> that was without my chest breaker as well. Yeah, feels good. And that is in completing a scav. You know what? Six black opals is actually pretty dang good to get. A very healthy amount of gear. Not as many jewels as I would have thought though. Oh, that's pretty good. That's decent. And the rest can be smelted down. What do I have in here? 42 knowledge. 22 vault diamonds. That's really good. That's really, really good. I'm... Yeah, very, very happy with that. I can now take my deposit upgrade, install it there, and then right click. No, uh, shift right click. Yes, 98 stacks deposited, and this stuff cannot go in my in my drawer system. The deposit upgrade is so satisfying <laughs> to have, honestly. I mean, yes, later we will make it even better with automatically sucking things out of the bags. But for now, it's extremely, extremely valuable. Like, check this out. Put that in there and give it to the machine. Nice, that's an empty scav bag. Right, let's open, before I identify gear, let's open... I'm going to put that down and open this. Oh, no, I had my magnet on. Look at that. Two gold platinum. I definitely need that. I'm very, very, very broke at the moment after the deaths last time. I don't think I can actually afford to die again. None of these jewels are uh, specifically good. The mining speed I can keep, but the rest I think I think just have to go and be recycled. Three rare plus pieces actually. That's quite good. I guess what I do is I grab all of the gear. And I did get a lot of gear actually. And then boom. That's a lot of new discovered uh, transmogs. Anything great though? I do have some upgrade potential actually all over the place. That is a pretty good chest plate, but I did get my legendary one last time. So I think I'm going to stick with my legendary one. Ooh, a legendary chilling sword with 17 base damage. Unfortunately, my sword, my sword feels really, really good. So I don't actually think that's worth it, but I might keep it just because it's a legendary. It can go in my 
a little chest. As for all of this, I think I'm actually gonna recycle all of it. Uh, time for Velvet Sleep and hope to get something good in these three more boxes. Oh, that's another storage disk. That's a 4K! That's 4,000 items that can be stored in there. Yeah, I definitely should look into a disk drive. Okay, second one. Another storage disk. <laughs> it's a 1K one. And what is that? Is that just a normal drawer? Oh, it's a drawer controller! I mean, that's a Pog and four of these. That's that's a pretty big pull, actually. That's I think that's quite rare. Wow. Mod boxes are great. <laughs> They're so great. With that... It's time to switch gears. You see, I have a plan. I plan to, this coming Thursday, which is September the 28th, to do a single player mega stream day of Doom. And I'm just gonna run vaults. I'm gonna run a lot of vaults and hopefully maybe try and get closer to level 40. And I'm very excited about it. But as you guys have clearly seen, my current organization for getting into a vault is uh, is terrible. It's <laughs> it's not my fault that I keep forgetting my keyways. It's uh, it's terrible organization fault and the lack of a mini monster. So I want to build a new area for entering a vault that can like sort of host everything I need, including including kiwis, but things like the bounty table, which ooh, I claim this one. Nice pop it. <laughs> Maybe I can use this little area up here for this. I could remake this into being some sort of like staircase up here in one way or another. And then I would love to have some sort of uh, style swap into this more vault stone. This block is so gorgeous, by the way. This is just chiseled vault stone or not chiseled, uh, uh, stone cutter. Stone cuttered vault stone. And then of course the core of everything would be a vault portal, which honestly, I would like to have against a wall. I think it looks better when the vault portal sort of goes into something. This is gonna be a little bit tricky to get this to integrate correctly or nicely into the natural terrain. But I do like the idea that's kind of cool. I mean, it's very, very bare right now, but that kind of works, actually. I think I like that. And then maybe I could use some chains to make it look even cooler down here. And in places, I'm going to need to help nature out a little bit. Do you ever look at something you've built in Minecraft and think, what have I done? Because I am, I am about 40 minutes into this and I hate it. <laughs> I really don't like it. It's, it's not good. It's, it's too much of a contrast. I mean, th this little part here looks okay, but in, in the whole, like the big picture, it's just, it's just <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> it's so bad. I I got it. I got I got to take it down. I got to try and repair what can be repaired. I've already changed up this fountain quite a bit. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I'm just going to shave all of this off and then see what the damage of the mountain is. Vein mine? Oh. Oh, that was satisfying. I think that's all of it. And... Uh, ah, it doesn't look too bad, actually. Yeah, that's not terrible. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that's gone. <laughs> Back to where I started. Hmm. Maybe it's time to <laughs> make something out of this room here. I mean, I've had this since the very start, and it's just... It's, it's the Vault Enchanter, and that is it. Hmm. Yes. Good, good start. Have you ever built something in Minecraft and then thought to yourself, what am I? No, no, no I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is, this is going to work out. And I think I'm off to a good start. I like the size. I had to make it a little bit bigger. And then... This <laughs> this thing here is supposedly the vault portal. 
I don't know if I love that yet, though. It looks a little bit weird, but it, it's coming along. However, the most important thing for this room is function. And one thing that is going to help me with function is a wardrobe. This thing here, as it has it, that's actually the next quest I have as well. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of investing with my vault diamonds, but it's going to be worth it. Go. Nice. And that should... No, I have to interact with it. Okay, so let's put this thing down and then right click it. Nice. There we go. I can pick it back up and complete this quest. Brilliant. Did I get... Yeah, I got another wardrobe for that. So I got one for free. Perfect. These are absolutely amazing tools for any seasoned vault hunter or non-seasoned as well for that, for that matter. Uh, they are, if I put them down like this, basically, well, it's, it's a... It's a tiny little slab, but when you interact with them, you can click this button or shift click this button to move all of your gear that you're wearing, as well as your hotbar that you currently have, which is super useful. And this button here makes it so that it's a full render instead of a transparent, which I like better. Oh, that's nice. So what I want to do is I want to use the wardrobes to swap between a vault loadout including my chest breaker and an overworld loadout, which I don't really have. I just have the light and my smelter right now. But if I go in here and shift click this, it will swap my entire hop bar and my armor. And that way I can make sure that I don't forget things. But that also means that I'm quite naked for the overworld as it has it. I should probably look into getting some of my backup gear just as, a, as the overworld stuff. I could, for example, just put these leggings on, take my new legendary sword, I suppose. And for my offhand, I might want to have a wand because wands have cooldown reduction and that's 11%, that's perfect. Yeah, they have cooldown reduction, which means that I can dash more frequently in the overworld. There's a zombie behind here somewhere. Aha! Get out of my house, man. He's camping out in his own basement. Do I have any emeralds? I have five. Okay, I'm gonna invest my last five emeralds in enchanting a pair of overworld boots so that I can get feather falling. And then I'll have to get some more emeralds. This, this man has unfortunately demised. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. I went to trade with him the other day and he was just gone. And actually, I think while I'm at this, I would like to maybe make myself another pouch. Aha! And I would like this pouch to hold my fruits. I'm also going to put my repair course in there. And you know what? Let's craft up if I can. I don't actually know how rich I am with, um, with iron, but I have enough. Let's actually put an anvil and some repair cores in here as well, because I can repair gear inside a vault. So if I ever, if I ever break something inside the vault then this is gonna help me out. I now have my fruits packed into my wardrobe. Absolutely perfect. I look, I look so, so very smart. I'm just reading and flicking through this book. <laughs> hmm, what if? I have... Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I like that. But if I have a little bit of vault ores, just like the, the legendary ones spun around in the ceiling, just for no reason, just just a bit of waste man skull, but also it feels very vaulty. I think this is coming together. I mean, it it's lacking walls, it's lacking a proper floor, and it's lacking some color and, and stuff like that, but... It is coming together, hopefully, with a bit of copium, I shall not forget my kiwis ever again. I, I need to, of course, uh, test the new vault portal that I built, and the only way to do that is to, is to vault, I suppose. So, this feels like a fully doable recipe. Having the computer is such a nice thing. It's so much easier. I love it. Ooh, this is pretty good. 10 chromatic steel for a scavenger hunt completion. I do like my scavenger hunts. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's try out my new system. So I walk up here, I shift right click, and I'm ready. Ready for a vault. Well, um, <laughs> actually I could keep my backpack in the wardrobe as well, as long as I remember to empty it. Right, so will this work? 
yep, that works, and that looks great when that's lit. I mean, granted, the, the room is, is not finished yet, I'll, I'll get there eventually, but as I said, it's very important for any seasoned Vault Hunters to, Vault Hunter to try out their contraptions. I swear, if I forgot anything now, this is gonna be so awkward. Oh, it's another snowy theme, and as far as the scav goes, yep, it's quite, quite difficult. Oh, you know what? I could bring these. I could use them for decorations inside my vault room. I entered this vault so quickly that it felt like I've definitely missed something. But I entered it quickly because of the fact that I've built my amazing room. Do I need anything from Gilded? Uh, nope. Oh, it feels good to mine chests again though. <laughs> that was a goblet in the first one. Right, uh, rip pages should be easy. The green mob essence is easy. Honestly, this is very, very doable. Aha, there's a tank, a shiver. It's dead, one more of those, and then I'm done with that bounty. Great success. Now that I'm not using the anchor trinket, I'm kind of realizing how bad my trinket is, my, my magnet is. It's terrible. I should probably look for an upgrade. Bone shards. Nope, nothing. Ooh, hello there. I need some bottles. I think I just burned something. Wizard wand. Oh! Oh no! I broke... I bro broke the ice. Just careful! I'm gonna collect some of these candles. I mean, the vault is a great place. Not just for, like, vault loot and, and progression-based stuff, but also for little decorative items. There are tons of them uh, everywhere. Around around the wall. I mean, look at this thing. There's a chalice. I'll bring it with me. Oh, oh, this is this is the guy. This is the guy to complete my quest. Yay! Thank you, sir. Woo! Ouch. Tier two sniper. Uh yes. Used to rest my shield. Oh, he hurts. Eleven minutes remaining. I think it's time to check how I'm doing, because I haven't been paying any attention. In fact, I'm confused as to where the time went. It's been such a chill vault. I haven't really come across anything special at all. And did I have any bone shards? No, I have no bone shards. Okay, so, I mean, definitely, definitely a winnable state. Aha, that's an ornate PY. And since I only need two of the common ones, I could get very lucky here. Sir, move my platform. That's one. I mean, that's not bad. So I need one more. Any ornates? Hello? Nope. That's gilded. This is actually not looking great. Oh, there are two ornates. What a big boy sniper. Oof, come on. Need one more. No! Oh, I'm having such trouble finding any ornate in this vault. Oh, but this... This is the ornate village room. Village at dawn. Bit of a risky move to go down here, and I only have five minutes. I also do need ores, but if I could just very quickly snag what I need, I'd be out of here, even though this is a great room. There's my empty jar. Okay, in this room, the spawners don't despawn. So, yeah, as I say, I could just I could just head out. I did get the empty jar. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna go for the completion. All I need is an ore room or... A little bit of uh, of ores, and since I can, let's hand in those two. Aha! Some ores. Ouch! Come on, get lucky. That's one. And is there no more? <laughs> Scared of the wishbones and everything else, but only one of the common one. Okay, I need more. Oh no, I actually got two. Oh, there's a dragon room! I actually would need to loot this, but not when no one is two minutes remaining. This vault has been so, so dull up until this point. I got the village and, and now that. <laughs> I am not having any luck finding any ore rooms. 120 to go. To be fair, I don't even need an ore room. I just need ores. I just need one more. Probably a good time to get these out of my backpack and the bad thing is is that I'm running further and further away from safety 
and the timer the timer is going uh okay i'm gonna have to jump the lemon at least are there any wars up here nope nothing i think i'm just gonna go all in <laughs> I'm, I'm so far away from spawn oh that's another village room i'm so far away from spawn that i don't know if i can make it back even if i rush it now but if i can find an ore room and a scavenger altar thing then i should be good <laughs> This is not good. This is this is this is how what not to do. I do have an orange though, which gives me a full minute extra. Yeah, honestly, I don't actually have a choice here. I'm gonna have to eat my orange. These are rare. That's an extra minute. This is just so unlucky though. Not a single ore vein or room at all. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I need I don't have the money to recover. One more lemon. Factory room. This is silly, really. <laughs> really, really silly. Wait. Oh, this is an ore room. Uh, I did not see an altar here, though. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta see if I can find one first. I'm so stressed. No. There's a champion. I love champions normally. Wait, was there not a champion? Looked like there was one. Okay, that's, that's my bone shard. Now, all I gotta find is an altar. And they spawn in three out of four rooms. 75% chance. So there is a good chance. There's there's one here, I think. Yes! Yes! The greed. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Stop! No! Stop! The, the greed pays off was what I was gonna say. But I'm too stressed to get the stuff. There we go. And yes! Screw you, Bolt! You, that, that was so unfair, but I come out victorious. Bounty completed, 140 chests. Yeah, that was a very, it felt very uneventful, this vault. But I can't believe how long it took me to find uh, the war room, but I did find it. And the portal works, which, I mean, this was just a test for my new room. <laughs> the portal works, I got my bounties completed, I can see that immediately. Great success. Right, so let's do this correctly now. I am going to swap my gear so that I have my other stuff. And someone didn't put the deposit upgrade back in its original slot. Wait a minute, did I not take it out of Sir Pouch? I did not. Okay, fair enough. Sir, pa <laughs> Sir Pouch, you saved the day. There we go. Right, did I get anything special? As I said, it was a pretty dull vault. I... no, not really. I got a few vault diamonds, I guess, a little bit of knowledge. Nothing super special. I did get a little bit of gear, despite not looting that many ornates. Trait number two today. It's been a successful couple of bolts. Oh, that's an epic plus chest plate over there. Ooh, that's actually a really good jewel. And those are keepable as well. Wow. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of keepable jewels here. Right, let's identify the gear. One epic and three rare plus is pretty big. A furnace chest plate. And now I realize that while I identify stuff and things, I should probably, probably be wearing my, <clears throat> my vault set so that I can compare to what I have. Right, I have my legendary chest plate with block chance. I think that, I think this chest plate is extremely good. It doesn't have a lot of durability though, so it might be smart to save a backup. And this is not a bad backup. Boots and leggings are kind of similar. What about the sword? Actually, it has high damage. But, yeah, as I've said before, mine is mine is really, really good. Oh, that's also a very good chest plate with block chance on the implicit. I'll say both. Lastly, two mod boxes. Is that is that another drawer controller? <laughs> it is. <laughs> I swear. I swear that it's... Oh! I swear that it's Omega Lucky. Also getting a grid. It's a mega lucky. Must be. That's great, actually, because now I could potentially set up a grid in my new vault room. In my vault preparation room of doom. Which, I mean, we just tested, right? And it, and it worked perfectly, flawlessly. It worked great. It's just going to need a little bit of upgrading. But there'll be another day, because that's going to do it for this episode. I am very excited for Thursday. I plan on starting around 10 a.m. my time. Which, I know it's very early for some of you guys, but don't worry, if you cannot watch the stream, I will be make sure to upload the VOD on VODSCAL85. I'm excited. It's gonna be great fun to hang out with some of you live on Twitch. But anyway, as I say, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next episode.